sailing off on Japan's first commercial whale hunt in over 30 years. These five ships will spend the next few months at sea on the lookout for one of the world's largest mammals. This marked the culmination of years of campaigning by Japan's whaling industry, which resulted in the country's withdrawal from the International Whaling Commission in December. To be here and send off commercial whaling ships for the first time in 31 years, it's a very emotional moment for everyone who's worked toward this end, and I'm happy from the bottom of my heart. Japan's tradition of whale hunting can be traced back to the 7th century, reaching its peak after World War II, and has long infuriated environmental activists. Even after signing a ban on commercial whaling in 1986, the country continued the practice under the guise of scientific research, killing an estimated 1,000 whales a year. Yet despite its cultural and traditional role, whaling remains a small industry in Japan, representing around 0.1% of all meat eaten and only employing around 300 people. Those working in the industry hope whale meat will now make its way back on Japanese menus. Historically speaking, the connection between Japanese people and whales has always been strong, but whale meat is far less popular than beef or pork now. I think the restart of commercial whaling is the perfect opportunity for people to understand and show interest in our culture. Yet some conservationists argue that the Japanese palate has already evolved and that the dwindling popularity of whale meat means the controversial tradition of whale hunting is bound to disappear.